Concern for one another and loving one another is not popular today, nor in Paul's time. But Jesus inspired all of us to love one another and to serve one another. Serving others is not just volunteering on Sunday or have a to-do list that we need to do, but it means that we have to have real concern and love for one another, looking past our own privileges, but to move forward and to sacrifice at times. In today's passage, Paul teaches us the three persons that has followed the example of Jesus. The first person is Paul himself. He tells the Philippians that they should not be an athletes who've gone into all the training and wasted all of them. In life, our real goal is to know God and to make God known so that people are saved and also to start serving Jesus. Paul teaches said uh, he's willing to die for Jesus as a sacrifice, as a martyr, and he said it's all joy for him. And he urged them to rejoice for him as well if it goes to if this is God's plan for him. The second thing I've learned is is Timothy. Paul introduced Timothy as a capable, obedient son. He's capable of bringing the gospel and is a very effective minister of the gospel. Timothy, unlike other people, have a real concern for others. They love them and does, he doesn't look into his own interests but the interests of others. Paul said that Timothy is faithful and we should be like him and people trust in him. The third thing, third person that we've learned is Aphroditus. Aphroditus originally is from uh, Philipp, uh, the Philippi. He was sent by the church to Paul to help Paul to, for the news of uh, the church is doing well and also to give him financial support. But when he reaches there, he was sick. But because of the gospel, he risked his own life almost to the point of death. And Paul said he's not only a brother, but a worker and a soldier for the gospel. My application today is Paul, Timothy and Aphroditus, they have the same attitude of Christ. They are willing to sacrifice. They go all out for God. They are devoted to God and loving people around them. And the only way we can do that is we spend daily time in the feet of Jesus, reading his word and praying to him so that we can feel his love, inspired to love, and also have the capacity to love so that the glory of God can be shown. My prayer today is, Father, we thank you for your love and your example to us. Help us to love the people genuinely and to also to share the gospel with the people. Help us to not only have the knowledge, but to love as Jesus loved us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.